Today we want to talk about the chances of a compliant consent management. To be specific, we want to focus on the benefits for companies and their customers. In our client projects, we saw in the last years that data control and data privacy became more and more important. So, Marian, what are the challenges in the management of consent <clears throat> from a customer perspective? Let me focus on the, on the challenges. One is being the lack of transparency. So the clients, the customers really don't know what's happening with their personal data, how this is being processed and where their data is being uh, transferred to. Furthermore, customers receive personalized uh, marketing emails which they didn't give their consent to in the first place. On the other hand, they still um, get emails even though they have withdrawn their consent already. And in the end, it's really not helping to gain trust in the companies. Why do companies normally receive consent management as a regulatory burden? Let me give you three perspectives to that. From a processual and organizational perspective, we often have to see that there is no interlock processes between data protection and other departments, which is in the end really essential because, for example, marketing normally has a completely contrary goals in, in perspective, for example, to data protection departments. From a technical perspective, companies simply don't have the consent management tool which enables them and helps them really to, to process the consent in a way that it really helps the marketing department. When we have uh, the third perspective, we look from, from a marketing point of view, where the, the biggest challenge really is that the, the tools and the engines in place are not really an enabler, but more a roadblock and doesn't enable them to do their mailings, for example, or other marketing initiatives. How can companies overcome the regulatory burden? What are the success factors for that? Let me focus on, on two of them, what we saw at, uh, at recent projects. One project was at a pharma company where we saw unaligned projects, the stakeholders not being involved. And the main problem was really not, not just that, but further, the company didn't even know where the consent were stored and where they were collected. So in the end, we found that a decentralized um, way of collecting all these consent in one engine really helped uh, them to overcome these challenges. The second uh, project I would like to talk about is where efficiency came into play. There was something we saw at an OEM. There the problem was they have a huge client base, but not all clients gave their consent. And the clients which already gave their consent were withdrawing it continuously. So the number was shrinking in the end. So there we found that initiatives to get more content and to retain existing customers really helped in the end to grow the number of consents and to get all the marketing initiatives out there. Obviously, the target of all is to create a win-win situation. How can that be achieved? Research has shown that 40% of global consumers will increase their spending by 20% if they receive certain data privacy and uh, cybersecurity assurances. So really increasing the trust. Therefore, ensure transparency and gain trust so that customers can see that they are treated fairly and that their rights are taken seriously. That is very important. With consent, companies can offer more personalized, targeted and willingly received mailing offers or other marketing initiatives. So improving customer experience will then end up providing better marketing and increasing sales. So good consent management is good for the customers, it's good for the company. It's a win-win. Great. Thank you, Marian. Thank you, Ulrich.